So, the Warriors on the road again. One of the last few times before the playoffs. And they are playing the Nuggets without Nikola Jokic. And the backdoor cuts were working early. And god damn, they looked serious. They looked serious for once and ready. But Steph didn't. And that was the first bad sign of this game with Steph shooting uh, this contested fadeaway mid-range. I mean, it's not a horrible shot for him, right? But... It just seems to his mentality. And we still had a 15-point lead here early in the second quarter as we played some some of the best basketball early on in the road we have played all year. But then we stopped playing serious as the Nuggets easily got back into this game with some overhelping on three-pointers as always and some dumb turnovers, man. Some just really dumb passes and turnovers. Michael Porter Jr. got going here and it was not ready for the Warriors as he got absolutely cooking. He couldn't miss tonight and then they get the putback dunk from him and they get the lead here halfway through this third quarter and... Even though we kept it close from there, I just felt like, man, we really blew it. And Jamal Murray got going here halfway through this fourth quarter as he hits a three-pointer there. Then we turn the ball over, unfortunately, here as Dante couldn't get a hold of it. And Jamal Murray pulls up for another one. And it's a nine-point lead for the Nuggets all of a sudden, even without Jokic. And the Warriors started off so well and then just unserious. But then they started playing serious again and... Uh, in these last three minutes, they almost made a comeback here. As it's a two-point game with 20 seconds to go. They almost, they not not almost, they came back from an 11-point lead in three minutes as they started playing series. And they tie Bruce Brown for the jump ball here as Kevin Looney continues to be the best player I have ever seen. And we win the jump ball and get a great look. Wide open, Clay misses. And he gets another chance that it gets blocked by Jamal Murray. He had a wide open Steph in the corner, but with the way Steph has been shooting, I wouldn't have trusted him to make it. And the Nuggets hold off the Warriors for a huge win as they pretty much, not pretty much, it feels like they locked up this number one seat a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure it's being close to confirmed. And unfortunately, the Warriors made it so much harder on themselves once again as... Uh, it, it's just so nasty, man. The Nuggets need to win one more game so they can lock up this number one seed. And the Warriors are now sixth as they are tied with the Clippers. Half game ahead of the Pelicans and the Lakers. And they have the tiebreaker over the Pelicans, I'm pretty sure, but not over the Lakers. Thankfully, the Lakers do play the Clippers and one of those teams has to lose, right? So if the Warriors win out, which they have Sacramento in Sacramento, OKC at home and Portland to end the season in Portland. Two road games. If they win all three, they will avoid the play. And if they don't, they need one more loss from other team, from the Clippers or the Lakers. They will lose one of one game as they play each other, right? So that one loss is there, but they would need one more if they go two and one and would be probably the seventh seed. So... The Warriors made life so much harder on themselves, especially after this great start. This game was on a silver platter for them, and they could have easily locked up this six seed at worst, probably, tonight. And unfortunately, they just didn't have it, man. They, they just didn't have it tonight. And it was once again not, not the young guys, but the main guys. It was Steph, Clay, and Draymond just not playing well. Uh, Draymond missed a lot of easy layups, was not aggressive enough, turned the ball over way too much. Then you had Clay chucking way too much. He was 9 of 28. Steph was 8 of 28. He was chucking also and 2 of 14 from the three-point line. It, it, it was one of the worst games I have seen Steph play in a long time. And this year, this was probably his worst game, man. He's had some bad shooting nights, right? But... This was overall just a bad decision-making night, bad play-making night, just bad night for Steph Curry, man. And he did a little trolling in the worst time possible. And then you had some really rough bench minutes from Anthony Lamb also. Some overall just not productive bench minutes. And it just culminated in a loss to uh, Jokic Les Denver. Shout out Dante, man. He put it well as we need to get our head up off our ass, as he said. The players that do, of course. And he was 8 of 12, th nine, 18 and 13, man. He gave it his all. Unfortunately... It just wasn't enough. And of course, uh, some of it was unseriousness from the core three, but some of it was also just some tough luck shooting, right? Steph and Clay tried, and they just couldn't hit those shots they usually do, man. And 
some of it's bad luck, some of it's due to the lack of concentration, some of it's just a rough nightmare, and it's in Denver, so the altitude had to play some uh, some part in it, because all of Steph's shots felt like they were going short, which means, of course, he didn't have his leg, uh, leg, legs under him, which means that the altitude really likely did, uh, you know, affect him tonight, so... Uh, as frustrating as it, you know, appears, I kind of saw it coming, man. I, as soon as Steph started playing like he did, I was like, eh, we're in for a weird night. And even after the good start, I was cautious because we were on the road. So I was not surprised we lost this game in the end. And that we made life so much harder on ourselves because that's what they do this year. And Michael Porter Jr. was sensational with 29 and 11 rebounds. Special night from him. Uh, Jamal Murray had his great moments with 26, the bench was really good, I liked how uh, Christian Brown played, shout out to Peyton Watson, the rookie, he got minutes and looked actually really good tonight with 8 points, 5 rebounds, 3 blocks, he looked he looked really good out there, and just a good win for the Nuggets without Jokic, man, they didn't even shoot the ball that well, but uh, they turned the ball over just 11 times, which compared to the Warriors 15 times doesn't seem that much of a difference, but I feel like in the game it made a whole lot of difference. And they they just were better, in my opinion. They hit the timely shots, and we didn't. Shout out to the Nuggets, man. Hopefully the Warriors get their head up their ass, man.